Chelsea comfortably beat Porto, whilst PSG beat Bayern in a five-goal thriller. Hey guys, Fledge here. Welcome, to, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Fledge Talks video. You should know the drill by now. This is where I take a trending topic or a topic of interest within the world of football. Bring it here, where we put it in the spotlight, we put it under the microscope, we talk about it, we analyse it, we, just, we debate it, discuss it, whatever you want to call it, this is where we come to do that. And today's video, of course, is no exception, as today we are again looking at last night's Champions League action. Before we go any further, though, I would like to remind you all to please both like and subscribe to this channel. Both things will always be greatly appreciated. But for now, let's get back to talking about last night's Champions League action. It was, again, the first leg of the quarterfinals. That has now concluded last night. All of the remaining eight teams have now played their first leg ties in the quarterfinal stages as it concluded last night. And it was a night where Porto hosted Chelsea, whilst in the other game, it was a repeat of the 2020 Champions League final as Bayern Munich, the current holders of this competition, took on PSG. So first, let's look at how Porto got on against Chelsea. In all honesty, it was the perfect night for Chelsea as far as they're concerned as they have one foot into the semi-final, it seems, following a 2-0 victory over Porto last night. Mason Mount opened the scoring in the first half and in the last stages of the second half, Ben Chilwell doubled their lead, meaning Chelsea will be taking two away goals back with them to Stamford Bridge next week for the second leg encounter. Fairly predictable outcome in all honesty, isn't it? Um, not to downplay Chelsea's victory at all, but... Chelsea were expected to be victorious in this draw and so far so good for them. Um, they haven't fallen at the first hurdle. They haven't been stunned, shocked or upset by Porto in any way here. And now they just need to be professional about it and see the game out in the second leg. Two away goals obviously makes their second leg task a little easier, you'd imagine. It's unlikely that they're going to be some sort of Tottenham against Zagreb kind of situation here where they go into it with the upper hand, but Zagreb come back. And in this case, it's going to be Porto that come back. So the Blues should see this game out and be comfortable sailing through to the semi-finals in this game. And in the other game, it's advantage PSG as the French League champions have beaten the holders by Munich in the first leg of the quarterfinal stages and will take a 3-2 lead back to Paris with them for the second leg. It's what, in what was a repeat of last season's final, it promised to be a fascinating encounter and it, it truly was in all honesty. A five goal thriller this time, matching up Bayern's attacking prowess with PSG's counter-attacking approach and it was quality over quantity as far as they're concerned as PSG only had six attempts on on the night and scored three goals whilst Bayern had 31 shots and only scored twice. Superstar Kylian Mbappe got PSG off to a flying and dream start scoring within the opening few minutes of the game. Uh, before Marquinhos then doubled PSG's lead later on in the first half, before Eric Maxim Chupamoting, the the living meme that is and actually a former PSG player and has popped up with a few important goals in the past, I should say, uh, did manage to grab a goal back for the Germans before the heavily and consistently and constantly underrated Thomas Muller managed to equalise for Bayern Munich in the second half. But that superstar man Mbappe popped up again in the later on in the game to fire home PSG's third goal of the evening. And from there, they held on to the win. They managed to pick up the victory, go into next week's second leg with um, a, a real advantage going forward with three away goals exacting half of their revenge on the German champions for of course what happened in last season's final and then they'll be hoping to carry out the remaining uh, 90 minutes and exact the full revenge on them by knocking them out come the final whistle of the second leg next week. 
Simply put, what a game. Simply incredible. Two teams with two very different styles of play. And as you often see with having two different styles of play, it often makes for a fantastic game. And that is exactly what we got here. For Bayern, you could tell that they heavily missed Robert Lewandowski tonight. And I said they create as I said, they created 31 attempts. And as we all know, he probably he would have likely have took a couple of them because of just the player he is. And Chupamoting isn't clearly nowhere near the same level as, as the Polish striker. I know, stating the obvious there, I know. But at the end, but, but at the other end, you know, it was really, like I say, about quality over quantity. Bayern couldn't keep out Kylian Mbappe, who stole the show last night with his clinical finishing. This guy is simply phenomenal, isn't he? It sets, up it, it sets it up very nicely for the second leg next week. PSG with three away goals, like I mentioned, could be, very, could be a very important factor come the final whistle. But you can never, ever rule out anything, especially with both of these teams and how they play and how, what they've done in the past and everything along them lines. So, be, so it's gonna set, it sets it up for a fantastic encounter. But last night, we did see a big win for Maurizio Pochettino and PSG and a first loss in the Champions League for Bayern Munich manager Hans Flick. And that about wraps up for this video. As I always say, these are just the thoughts and comments and opinions of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of the first leg of the quarterfinal stages from both nights? What did you make of last night's in particular? What did you make of... Uh, Chelsea's victory over Porto. What do you make of the five goal thriller that played out between PSG and Bayern Munich? Will Bayern Munich be able to turn it around? Will Porto be able to turn it around? Or will both PSG and Chelsea see out the remaining 90 minutes to go through to the semi finals? I'd love to know your thoughts, your comments, opinions, whatever you want to call it, down in the comments section below. I'm sure it'll all make for interesting reading. Otherwise, Hit that like button on the right if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things will always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I will soon speak with you all again soon in another video.